How y'all doing? Yeah, I probably wasted money. I bought something that's stupid. In this day and age, anyhow. 45 Colt. Lever action Marlin. Now this is the non-J stamp. It has a safety. The only reason I say it's stupid because, my goodness, just finding ammo for this thing is just crazy. Even though this thing's almost brand new, and I got a good price on it, I got two boxes of ammo. Of ammo. Uh, one when I bought the gun, and I just found another box. It's like a dollar ten a piece. That's if you can find it. I don't care. I own the the Marlin uh, 357 mag, the 44 mag. I got rid of the 44 mag. Man, I really regret that. Really regret it. The 357 mag I got rid of only because I bought it. And some guy told me that it was a family heirloom and he wanted it back. So I made a deal, lost money, traded him. And about a week and a half later, he sold it to somebody else. Yeah, I was pretty pissed off about that. I'd like to add that one. Then I had the Winchester version. I guess it's the Model 94. But this is the 1894 Marlin. The newer version. It's so new it didn't even have brass marks right here. That's why I loaded it. So, let's see what happens. It holds 10, 255 grain, 750 feet a second. I'm out here with no ear protection on because I don't think I need it. Let's, let's see what happens if I shoot this steel here, and then I'm gonna move over to the two gallon jugs of water with the steel plate behind it. This is just pistol ammo in a 20 inch barrel. Let's see what happens. I really don't feel that at all. That is so nice. Okay. Before I shoot that gallon jug of water. Something I call the pistol caliber wagger. Walk along. That's it. It's actually perfect. You can just carry it anywhere. Put in your left hand. Pistol caliber swagger. All right. Let's shoot this uh, jug of water. Two jugs. Two five gallon jugs and steel plate behind it. I heard something hit back there. It definitely is not hitting high. I'm going to tell you. I do believe that went through both jugs and bounced back. Oh, I probably should do a little more, you know, see where this stupid thing hits. I'm going to aim at that pressure jug down there. I should be saving that brass. Ooh. I'm going to put a couple shots in down there. Oh, yeah. Hit exactly where I want. Doesn't kick, you don't need ear protection. Man, I really wanted one of these a long time ago. Now there's a ammo shortage. Did I make the right decision? I'm gonna try to take out the heart over there to the left. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I don't care.
This thing is hitting hard. I think it knocked the thing off. Well, got some old paint there to see what happens. Well, that sounded rough, didn't it? Another one. Let's take out that white can of paint. Well, I think that was a miss. Oh, and I'm empty. Damn it. You see the table there, completely black now. I want to thank Dan, W Sales, for making me want this. I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, being friends with Dan. My wife seemed to be, yeah, she seemed to like this one. But the next one, I'll probably be divorced. All right, God bless you guys. This thing is almost perfect. If you look at it, almost. Little scratch right there. <laughs> and it seems like it doesn't go all the way in, but it does. It operates, but there's a little gap there. All right, God bless. Bye.